A Tarpon Springs family with two young children woke up to a terrifying sound in the wee hours of this morning. That SUV you see right there careened out of control and it slammed into their home. News Channel 8's Avery Cotton is joining us live from outside the house tonight. What a horrible ordeal this was for this family. But fortunately, Avery, the children were not harmed. Yeah, that's right, Keith. The car came from this road here behind me, flew through the family's front yard, and it crashed into the front room in the corner of the house. Now, thankfully, as you said, nobody was inside that room at the time. But had this happened just a few months earlier, this story would have a very different ending. Sorry, I never liked that wall. Sean Williams is in good spirits, all things considered, but it was a different story at their home around 1 a.m. I felt the whole house shake, and I looked at my husband, Sean, and I was like... What, did somebody just hit our house? And he said, yeah, call 911. Sean says he ran outside and found a man had crashed an SUV into the corner of his house. Swearing the whole time, saying he's got to get out of there, and then he just took off running. The car left a massive hole in what the Williams call their man cave. But they better find him because he just took off. But things could have been worse. I don't want to even think about it at all. This room used to be their young daughter's bedroom. Tammy says people often speed down this road and use it as a cut through. I would be afraid of people flying up and down these two roads that we live on, and I was afraid something like this would happen. So my paranoia caused me to move them to a back room that we have. Now, Tarpon Springs police are still looking for the driver of the car. We do know that man is not the owner of the car. Police say they contacted the owner who lives in Dunedin, and he says he lent the car to one of his friends on Christmas Day, has not seen his car since then. Tarpon Springs police, police do not believe the driver of the car this morning is that friend of the owner. Keith. Well, that's kind of bizarre. Maybe they'll track that person down soon. But, Avery, you were talking to the Williams in there, and they're worried about the speeding that they've seen on this road outside their house. Did you speak with Tarpon Springs police about the Williams concerns? I did, and they say that this is a big problem area for not only speeders, but also they use it as a cut through. So they are out here patrolling regularly. In fact, we've actually seen two police cars cruising out here since we've been here this evening. All right, Avery Cotton reporting for us live in Tarpon Springs. Thank you.